Today we're going to make a camera case. I wanted to make a camera case for my sister Jessie's little Sony camera, so I laid out all the pieces, took a photo of it, then took that photo into Photoshop, traced the outlines, and then took it into Illustrator and turned them into line drawings. I used my full spectrum laser to cut these interior dividers out of corrugated cardboard and leather. Kaizen foam would have probably been a better alternative, but I had the cardboard on hand and it ended up working pretty great. I made the outer part of the case out of a series of CNC'd oak frames. Now, this isn't the most efficient way to make a case, but I needed the smaller inside pieces for a different project, and this way I was able to get the frames in this case as an added benefit. I glued and clamped the oak frames together, and once the glue had dried, I used my orbital sander to sand the whole thing nice and smooth. I got brass hinges, screws, and a nice little clasp, all from a place called Rockler. They have a really good selection of woodworking stuff, and uh, it's one of my favorite online stores. I used a knife, chisel, and hammer to cut out the recesses for the hinges. I probably could have done this with a CNC machine, but it was nice to use hand tools for a change. I finished the case with a coat of Danish oil in natural. I glued the cardboard padding in one layer at a time. I put blue painter's tape over the leather before I laser cut it. This helped keep the burning to a minimum. I don't want the leather bubbling up and wrinkling over time, so I made sure to spread the glue real evenly when I glued the leather to the cardboard. This project is the first in a series of collaborative projects that me and my friend Wei Lin are working on. We really like this idea of mixing hard goods that come from woodworking, metalworking, and concrete with softer goods like leather or fabrics and trying to really figure out how we can find new design opportunities by mixing these two genres. Way laser cut a leather exoskeleton that allows this case to be carried in a variety of different ways. We also really like the idea that additional storage devices could be clipped to this leather grid. Wei used a hole punch and screw post to fasten the buckles onto the leather. The leather and fasteners for this project all came from a place called Candy Leather. It's a really awesome place. They have quite a few stores all around the country, so if you're near one, be sure to go and check it out. The people that work there are super helpful, and it's really fun to see all the different leather devices and, and figure out what you can make with it. Wei's gonna be doing a series of leather working projects and CNC projects for Homemade Modern, so check out her Instagram. I'll post the link to it in the description box below. Now the camera case works fine just as a camera case, and it definitely doesn't need this exterior leather exoskeleton. Although I think this is a really interesting idea that could lead to some pretty cool designs in the future. and is definitely something we're going to pursue in our upcoming gallery show, Design Cloud. Design Cloud is a new collaborative studio that I'm starting, and we'll have our first exhibition later this summer. Keep following my Instagram and I'll post details. A camera is one of the most important tools that any member of Homemade Modern uses, and so I like the idea of celebrating it and creating a case that isn't just to protect it, but actually looks great too. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.